Kelly Martin and it's not Friday, it's Saturday, which apparently is when I've decided to do Ask Kelly Anything now. So, if you see where I was going to scratch my nose and I decided against it, yeah. Uh, somebody told me last week that they wish they had a penny or a nickel every time I touched my hair. I would too. <laughs> okay, it's Ask Kelly Anything. You have questions, I have answers. Maybe not the best answers in the world, but I have answers. I have my, I try to decorate for Halloween because, you know, it's October. So, there's my Halloween decorations and, you know, this was just kind of here. So, it's just, we'll just let it go. And I have my, I have, I have Jared Pelicky on my shirt. My always keep fighting shirt. So, we are ready to roll. Um, Okay. First question is from Marie. Hi, Marie. Marie. Marie wants to know, what is the most wild and craziest thing you did as a teenager? This may come as a very big surprise to nobody, but I was probably one of the most straight-laced, good girl teenagers in the history of ever. I didn't do much of anything to get in trouble. There was one thing <laughs> I did in high school and I actually forgot until right now. I had a different answer that I was going to answer this, but it was homecoming my senior year. <laughs> this was painful because I never got in trouble. I never got in trouble. Um, it was homecoming my senior year. Uh, the parade had went by. We went outside the high school to watch the parade go by. It, no, I wouldn't. It, I was in homecoming my senior year, my junior year, and the parade had gone by, and uh, we all had to go back in the building. And instead of going back like everybody else, the um, window was open uh, in my next class, which happened to be drama, and I just decided to climb in the window. And my principal caught me. And he didn't even get, I didn't even get in trouble. He just said, you know, don't do that. What are you doing? But I like had these massive tears. Like I was squalling because he had to say something to me. I, it's terrible that, to have that much anxiety, I guess. But I felt so bad. And I went to my next class. I, I hugged my teacher and told her I was sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Dyer. <laughs> and uh, I went to my next class, which was... um paper staff I think it was paper staff and they made me a sign that said it was November 14th 2000 no it wasn't 2000 I'm not that young 1998 no 1997 this was the day Kelly got in trouble <laughs> I think my mama still has that sign now you know my deepest darkest secret <laughs> I don't talk about that so thanks for that question Next question is from Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Ashley wants me to name a weird or silly thing you believed or did as a child. I actually thought until I was 18 that there was such a thing as a two-headed insect. There is not, in fact, a two-headed insect. I was sitting outside with my mom and daddy on the back of the truck, I think. And I saw, like I had seen for years, this two-headed insect fly by. And I went, oh! I'm not going to elaborate because we have younger viewers on this channel. If you want an explanation, ask your mama. Uh, next questions. Two questions come from Angie. Hello, Angie. Angie said, you are asked to create a crossover show. What two shows do you combine? I would combine Supernatural and The Vampire Diaries and let them hash it out. See who wins. See if they could coexist and what would happen. That would be cool. I would be on board with that. Okay. Last question is, if you could live in any TV show for a day, which one? I would pick, I watch a lot of HGTV. I don't watch a whole lot of network TV. Believe it or not, I usually watch a lot of Netflix. Um, if I watch TV, usually I don't have a lot of time to watch TV. But um, when I do watch TV, it's on Netflix or YouTube. Um, I say um a lot. I'm sorry. Between my hair and my ums, I'm sorry. I would watch either 
fix I would want to be in either Fixer Upper. I love that show. It's on HGTV. It's got Chuck and Joanna. Not Chuck. Chip and Joanna. I'm sorry. Chip and Joanna, and they get these really run-down houses, and they fix them up and make them pretty. That's what I would love. They could come to my house and fix it up and make it pretty and beautiful and awesome. I would love to be on that show. Or um, Ghost Hunters, which not my house on Ghost Hunters. No, there's videos about my house and ghosts, but I would rather not come here. But I would like to um, go on an investigation with them. I think that would be really cool. Somebody out there, I know you have connections. <laughs> Make that happen. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you have a question for Ask Kelly Anything, send it to Kelly Martin. K-E-L-L-Y-M-A-R-T-I-N-215 at Yahoo.com. Or you can leave it in the comments of this video. Or you can send it to my Facebook. Um, or my, or you can be on the, um, nerd team. I cringe because I can hear the ums. I will work on that. I will work on that. Just for you. I'm going to be at Rocket City, uh, Book Lit Fest in Huntsville, Alabama next weekend. Come see me. I can't wait to go. I'm very excited. I'm actually going to moderate a panel on how to write good bad guys. And I'm going to be on a panel about writing. The Hollywood Show is going to be there, which I'm like a big fan girl of the Hollywood Show. And I hope I don't embarrass myself. If you come, if you get to go and you come to my table, I made these. They're my Instagram pictures, the four of them that I really, 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 super duper really uh, love. And I made pictures. I'm so proud of these, actually. And I'm going to have them at my table. See? So, if you come by, you can get one. I'll sign them if you want me to. Put my Instagram on the back because I love Instagram. And there's four of them. There we go. Ah, this is an extremely long video. I'm very sorry, but I want to show you my pictures and talk about Rocket City Lit Fest and answer your questions and say um a billion times, which I do believe I've succeeded at. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. See you next week. I'll have to do it on Friday because I can't do it on Saturday unless I do it some magical way. Have a good night. Goodbye, world.